Age of Comic Games here with the eighth episode of uh, of Undertale, or also known as episode two of the Genocide Run. I am uh, right, right in front of the shop in the end, which, uh, which uh, as you remember last time, the shop. You know what's cute? Those two married dogs always present, always put presents under the tree for each other. It's always the same, a single bone. But every time they act like it's the first time they've gotten it. But then Papyrus comes back to take his one back, his one back. Anyways, where are those two? Yo, you're a kid too, right? I can tell because you're wearing a striped shirt. This town doesn't, doesn't have a mayor, but, there, if, but, there's a, but if there's ever a problem, a skeleton will tell a fish lady about it. That's politics! Human. Hello? 
allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover, the admiration for another pu another's puzzle-solving skills, the desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now! I can hardly imagine what it must feel like, must be like to feel that way. After all, I am very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not. You shall be lonely no longer. I, the great papyrus, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong. <coughs> I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then, I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard. So you're serious. Then, let's see if you can handle my fabled flu attack. Can you jump? Hold up longer to hold up longer to jump higher. Jeez. Special attack. I can almost taste my future popularity. Papyrus and Parallel Spaghettor! And Dyna will be really proud of me. Trim a head in the shape of my smile. Behold, my special attack. What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop making stop munching that bone! Hey, what are you doing? Come back here with my special attack! Oh well. I'll just use a really cool regular attack. <sighs> use an absolutely normal attack.
You can't uh, defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking in your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Alas, poor Papyrus. Well, at least I still have my head. Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. She was just standing there waiting forever. And then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Don't... I'm sorry if, uh... If his voice has changed, I can't remember the way I portrayed him. basically going to be a speed run.
much you could. Thank you. Even though you're gonna die. Yo, did you see that? And then just touched me! I'm never washing my face ever again! Man, are you unlucky? If you were just standing if you were standing just a little bit to the left. Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. talk to the people I feel like they're important. This one I don't feel like it's important at all. I know I'm doing a speed run, but I want to get that song down again. Don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, you can't hold on, bro. So if you're if you're walking anyway, I guess I'll go with you. Let's go.
Man, I'm dying is so cool. She beats up the bad guys and never loses. If I were if I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was gonna beat me up. Haha. <laughs> So one time we had this, we had a school project where we had a had to take a care of a flower. The king, we might, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer. Volunteered to uh, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to the school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? He'd beat up all the teachers. Um, maybe she wouldn't feed up the teachers. She's too school to have her heart and meet in person. Hmm. Yeah, this leg is way too steep. Hmm, yeah, you wanna see I'm done, right? Turn them onto my shoulders. Yo, you can go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I I always find a way to get through. You could cut the tail out again. Oh god, I'm done coming again. This way, she's standing right here. beat him. This is going to take the same amount of time as it did last time. Haha! -ha! It's just like you to run away. I am the ghost that lives inside a dummy. 
My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until we destroyed their home. Let's go spent our whole lives looking for a proper vessel. Slowly, slowly we grow closer to our new bodies. Until one day we came to become corp corporal beings. Be being able to laugh, love, and dance like any other. But you, my cousin's future, you took it all away. Despicable. Despicable. <coughs> Despicable. Human. I hope you're not too attached to your body. Because your soul's about to get evicted. Foolish. 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 Even if you attack my vessel, you'll never hurt me. I'm still too- I'm still incorporal, you dummy. Wait, is dummy a compliment? Ow! You dummies! Watch where you're aiming your magic attack. Hey, you! Forget what I said anything about magic. Foolish, foolish, foolish! I'll defeat you and take your soul! I'll use your soul to cross the barrier! I'll stand in the window of a fancy store! Everything I want will be mine. Huh, yeah, I guess that, that all is right. True power! Bring on people that aren't garbage! How's that a true power? Dummy bots, try again! guys are even worse than the other guys. Who cares? Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. <coughs> I've got knives. 
time. I don't know. But it doesn't matter! You can't hurt me and I can't hurt you! You'll be stuck fighting me! Forever! 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 <laughs> what? What the heck is this? Ah, acid rain? Oh, forget it. I'm out of here. Oh yeah, that's the loop. Sorry, I interrupted you. Didn't I? As soon as I came over, your friend immediately left. Oh no, you guys looked like you were having fun. Oh wait, didn't you attack me before? Uh, that's awkward. Sorry, have a nice day. Well, I'm going to head home. Just warning you, so you don't want to see my father in my house. He probably won't. Just to prove that I remember where it is, I will show you. Peaceful was basically a walker. This one's just a speed. My level of violence. I have to click on the I have to click on the flower behind me. <coughs> seven. Seven human souls. With the power of seven human souls, our king.
King Asgore Dreamer will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. We will he will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the give them back the suffering and pain that we we have endured. Understand, human? This is your only chance at redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. And dying. I'll help you fight. Yo, you did it. And Dine is right in front of you. You've got front row seats to her fight. Wait. Who is she fighting? Hey! You aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? Well, if you just say my high blood, you know, all my arms are like, or I'm sure you're gonna die. They say Yo! Yo, I'm, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but I want to ask you something. Man, I've never had to ask anyone this before. Um, yo, you're a human, right? <laughs> Man, I knew it. Well, I know it now, I mean. Undyne told me, um, stay away from that human. So, like, um, I guess that makes us enemies or something. But I kind of stink at that. <laughs> so, say something mean so I can hate you. Please. Yo. What? So I have to do it? Here it goes. Yo. I... I hate your guts. Man, I... I'm such a turd. I'm... I'm gonna go home now. Yo! W w wait! Help! I trip! What? What are you standing around for? Get over here, dude. I'm dying. You, you saved me. Huh? They ran away. Yo, you're wrong. They went to get help. They'll be back to any second. Okay? I'll go home. Major. Boss, you need to take that pill. Now? What is it? Sleeping medicine? Yeah, to put to help me go to sleep. Sandwich here. Oh. You got the candy candy up here? I can have. Uh, not right now. Mind if I grab some over there? Yeah. Seven. Seven human souls. King Asgore will become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Understand, through your, through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. First, however, as it is customary for those who make it this far, I shall tell you the tragic tale of people. It all started long ago. Forget it. Look, Papyrus didn't come back to his meeting today. Say what you want about him. He's weird, he's naive, he's self-absorbed, but, Pyr but Papyrus has never missed a meeting. And no matter what time you call him on the phone, night, day, afternoon, morning, he'll al he always answers within the first two rings. But now he's gone, bye, and his brother isn't around either. What? I said bye, homie. Oh, you're leaving? Yeah. Alright, see ya. What did you do to him? What did you do to him? Papyrus! Who I have trained every day, even though I know he's too goofy to ever hurt anyone. Go ahead. Prepare however you want. But when you step forward, I will kill you. Oh. Yeah, 20 minutes. That's it, then. No more running away. Here I come! On guard.
means you're green and you can't escape. Unless you face danger head on. You won't last a second again. Dead by now. Office told me humans were determined. I see now what you meant by that. Determined to determined to end this right now. Yeah, darling, you little brat. Everybody's hopes and dreams. 
I will defeat you. Come on, is that all you've got? Pathetic. You're going to have to try harder than that. S see how strong we are when we believe in ourselves. This is what I was afraid of. This is why I never told you. No. No! Not yet! I won't die! I won't die! I won't die! I won't die! I... God. I didn't expect you to show up so soon. I haven't showered. I'm barely dressed. It's all messy and... Um... <laughs> Hiya! I'm Dr. Alphys. I'm Asgore's royal scientist. But, 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 uh... I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um been observing your journey through my console. Your fights, your friendships, everything. I was originally going to stop you, but watching someone on a screen really makes you root for them. So, so, uh, now I want to help you. Using my knowledge, I can easily guide you through Hotland. I know a way right to Asgore's castle, no problem. Well, actually, um, there's just one tiny issue. A long time ago, I made a robot named another time. Originally, I built him to be an entertainment robot. Uh, you know, like a robotic TV star or something? Anyway, recently I said, decided to make him more useful. You know, just some small practical adjustments. Like, um, anti-human anti combat features. Of course, when I saw you coming, I immediately decided I have to remove those features. Unfortunately, I may have made a teensy mistake while doing so. And, um... Now he's an unstoppable kill. Now he's just now he's an unstoppable killing machine with the first floor being a blood. <laughs> but um hopefully we won't run into him. Did you hear something? Oh no.
Oh, yes! Welcome, beauties! To today's quiz show! Oh boy, I can already tell it's gonna be a great show! Everyone give a big hand to for our wonderful contestant. Never played before, gorgeous. No problem, it's simple. There's only one rule. Answer correctly. Or you die. Let's start with an easy one. What's the price for answering correctly? Alright, sounds like you get it. The quiz show continues. Here's your terrific prize. Correct! What a terrific answer! The quiz show continues. Enough about you. Let's talk about me. What are both robots made of? Too easy for ya, huh? Here's another easy one for ya. Uh, wrong, wrong, wrong! Don't count on your victory. How many flies are in this star? Completely, utterly wrong. I have to. Let's play the memory game. What monster is this? I'm so flat as you remember. But can you get this one? Would you smooth it in? Great answer! I love it! Here's a simple one! How many letters are- Of course! That was easy for you! Time to break out the big guns! Oh, oh, I know this one. Alphys, Alphys, Alphys! You aren't helping our contestant, are you? Oh, you should have told me. I'll ask a question. You'll be sure to know the answer to. The office, I told you it was obvious. Even the human figured it out. Yeah, she scrawls her name in the margins of her notes. She named programming variables after her. She even writes stories of them together, sharing a domestic life. Probability of a crush, 101%. Margin of error, 1%. Well, well, well. With Dr. Office helping you, the show has no dramatic tension. We can't go on like this, but, but, this was just the pilot episode. Next up, more drama, more romance, more bloodshed. Until next time, darlings. Well, that was certainly something. That that last question. He was he wasn't su supposed to ask that one. Wait, wait. Let me give you my f phone number. That then m maybe if you need my help, I could. Where where'd you get this phone? Where'd you get that phone? It's ancient. It doesn't even have texting. W wait a second, please. Here, I upgraded it for you. If you can do, you can. It can do texting items. It's got, uh, it's got a keychain. I even send you over to the underground number one social network. Now we're officially friends. 
I'm going to the bathroom. He just realized I didn't want to die and fight the human. Well, I know she's unbeatable. I'll go ask her about it later. Oh, God. But now I gotta call up the human and guide them. place that in the episode so i hope you have enjoyed this episode of undertale if you have hit that like button down below to show your support for the channel because it would be amazing if you did and yeah as i said i hope you have enjoyed like comment subscribe to become draconic gamers and yeah take care everybody bye bye see you in the next episode see ya